Hello guys, and welcome to episode 55 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Ike Claw, leading Clan Scryer to world domination. Today, we're going to be starting by trying to take out Klaxlan. Klaxlan uh, only has one settlement, this is the only one. They are attacking me, which we wanted, and now we should be able to take them out. The map is reasonable, I think. Yeah, it's okay. The trees are kind of annoying. It looks pretty small, but we shall see. I'm not sure if I need any more menace below. I mean, we could maybe add a couple, uh, but that's it. Let's jump on in. I do have some flyers. We're going to have to take those down. Those uh, Ripodactyl riders. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of those. Is that what a Rasma artillery otherwise? But then it's just salamanders, and salamanders aren't that good at all. They're kind of terrible. I think they're okay if you get them in like good flanking positions, but yeah, in the hands of the AI, they're probably going to do really bad. I'm just trying to work out a good place to put my artillery. I could put my warp lightning cannons here, but it doesn't really make use of their full range. I could put them up here. Yeah, that looks better. Anything it leaves me a little bit vulnerable to attacks on the right hand side. So I'll probably have to put some troops around there. I will do that and we'll keep my play claw catapults at the bottom. Um I'll have some scheme and slaves here just to hold the flanks. And we'll do the same on this side. And then my front line is basically gonna consist of spread out uh Gutter runners and rattling guns. Okay. Uh, these may as well sit up here with the warp, uh, with the warp lightning cannons. I put my warlock engineer in between all of these lot to buff them up a little bit, and then we have. Our assassin who can stand up the front, and this guy can stand back. I do also have uh, these that can plug any gaps. Okay. That should be okay. Alright, let's start the battle. So, we're going to want to shoot down the Ripodactyls. That's probably priority number one. So I'm going to shoot these ones on the right, and those ones there. My play claw catapults should probably try and chip the skink cohorts. And we should probably focus down the salamander hunting packs with the warp lining cannons. Right, let's kill off the Ripodactyls there. Oh, they're getting hit by my rattling guns, nice. I could very easily warp bomb Doom Rocket this. I'm gonna try and take out the Salamander hunting pets. Wow, we do a lot of damage to them with the warp line uh, with the warp bug Damn. That's crazy. I'm also going to want to start hitting the reinforcements at some point. My leader at the front here is doing a fantastic job on his own. That's Gink Cohort just taking it straight to the front there. Okay, uh, let's target these ancient salamanders with my warp block. The Zales. And I'm going to want to start hitting the Croxagores back here. Okay, that's one Salamander down. Let's take down the other. Uh, do I have some magic? Uh, yes, we do. Oh, 
Oh, that did a lot of damage. Also dropped some warp lightning there. Okay, we're going to want to finish off those Croxigors. And I'm going to want to start hitting the Ancient Stegodon. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to have my Catapults hit these Skink Cohort with Javelins. There's another Ancient Salamander on the right I forgot about. We will kill that off. Uh, these are temple guards, so let's hit them. Okay. Looks like that's it. That's victory. Okay, uh, now what we need to do is chase them down. Uh, let's turn off guard. And we got to run them down, because this is a defensive battle. I don't know how they were firing so far, that's crazy. Okay, we can probably stop these from firing. Okay. That's really good. Done loads of damage there. Go ahead and take down this unit of Temple Guard. The more we kill, the better. Okay, great. Close victory. That went pretty smoothly. The artillery doing really well. Rattling guns getting some good kills. Maybe could have used some more magic. One of their ancient salamanders actually got a lot of kills. It's probably the one that I didn't kill sooner than later, actually. But the salamander packs, they just got annihilated, just like the Ripidactyls. Cool. Let's enslave. Actually, I guess I probably could have used the replenishment just because we will be wanting to order resolve that attack. Let's see if we can get some money from this. <laughs> A measly 300. Take the trade agreement though, because it makes uh, confederation easier in the future. Uh, looks like they're going for Salzenmund, Marienburg. Gonna have to take them out. I do have the army at Norden, but I don't know if one versus three is a good idea. Uh, Midland, are they gonna suicide? Well, they started the siege and fought Saw. Okay, they are gonna follow through. Alright, let's just finish them off. That's gonna be them destroyed. They gave us one food, how kind. I think Ostermark's really a big threat. Ostland? Is that their last army? Looks like it. Oh, they might do the same thing as Midland. Attack us. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. We'll just auto resolve that and uh, take the food again. Now, Talibic clan. They still have some stuff about some settlements at least. They're not going to be attacking me anytime soon. Thoradon Forest is going to burn down to the ground soon. That's going to be good. Warhead of Chaos. 
they are arriving on our doorstep now. Let's just uh, skip through most of these. Just the servants to chaos that I need to care about. They're going to hit Blacklight Tower. Okay. So, uh, this army is... I don't know. I feel like this is probably not even worth fighting out. I'm pretty going to want to resolve it. Because we have another army, I think, moving up there anyway. I don't want to really waste like a warp storm doom rocket trying to win that and then we don't win, for example. That would be kind of a bummer. Alright, transform. Hell pet attendant. Uh, we will probably do order him before you. While on a seek find mission, your minion lord discovers a relic of some kind, which looks pretty st and stinks of magic. He hasn't deigned it important to reveal this find to you yet. However, you really know about it due to a spy in his ranks. What shall be done? I mean, we can... Yeah, we can get it from him. That's plus 10% research, right? It's definitely worth having. Uh, minus 15% construction cost for all buildings. That's for, what, four turns? Grist for the mill. The clan's warlock engineers have found an ingenious use for their ailing slaves. Bones are ground into rich cement, making for an endless supply of mortar. Due to this most excellent development, building costs have decreased faction wide. <laughs> Amazing. Classic Skaven. <laughs> We got so many of those, wow. Kill Midland and Ostland. Iggy Claw's got an extra 5% movement range. Very nice. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go down to like Toxodon or something, or someone like that. Someone who's relatively new. I need to give this follower to someone. I mean, that's fine. Oh, this is a pestilent scheme priest. That's not good. Don't want him to have anything. Uh, Brom. Where is Brom? This rat is no fool. The missile resistance. Blade of corruption. I would give him a better weapon, but it's kind of a waste if I do, I think. Uh, Talisman can probably just be more missile resistance. And then... We could do the terrifying mask of E. Extra hero capacity. Uh, we'll give him the research. There we go. Perfect. Nice. What's that? Siege towers plus one per siege item constructed. I don't know how that works, but that's pretty cool. This guy, Iqbal, who his boss is. he's got the Blade of No Glitch. Let's upgrade him. That's extra weapon strength with fighting against vampire cats. That's nice. Shrieking Blade. Shrieking Blade would be good, actually. Let's do Shrieking Blade. What's his fear and terror? Nice. Okay, let's try and take out some of these armies. So, Ikiclaw was going to go to try to chaos, but Harold's actually in range. Let's go hit Harold. That's an ambush. Goodbye. Plenty of food, thank you very much. Got another Shrieking Blade. I will also take out this army. I think it's going to be a bit more of a difficult battle. But we'll give it a good go. Uh, the map is not ideal. Because I have three giants. Uh, let's jump on in. We have a couple of health abominations. Should be okay. The main thing is... Probably dropping the menace below on top of those hell cannons. All 
All right, and best bet for us is probably just to pull back. Yeah, let's start deployment. Not sure what line of sight's like. We could actually deploy here, quite close to the st to the uh, start position. That's not bad. Not fantastic, but it's not terrible. And we have these just here. These in front. We'll look engineer over here. Put my ratting guns on this side as well. I have the some of them with halberds on the flanks. Have those behind one of these on each side. Okay. We're going to have these on the flanks so that I can use them to poison like black knights and stuff. Alright. Let's start the battle. We do have line of sight already onto like Chaos Giants, so that's good. Probably going to want to hit the Hell Cannons, honestly. Nice, right, so we hit that giant. Very good. Ooh, ouch. Unfortunately, I don't have direct line of sight, but yeah, we can drop some Glam Rats onto them. Does a lot of damage to that Chaos Giant, just going to keep shooting him. Do you have the warp bomb ability? Alright, that's one dead. Uh, let's hit the chaos spawn. Those chaos spawn are going to be a pain otherwise. Right, we took out Chaos Trolls. Make sure we hit the giant. And these may as well be targeting like any large units of infantry we see. Yeah, that's good. This one's nearly dead already. Okay, the Chaos Knights haven't come in. We brought the Black Knights earlier. I think Black, Black Knights are vampire counts, aren't they? Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's around that unit. Perfect. That was really good. I'm just point blanking this Chaos Knight. Let's go for Asavar here. Actually, we probably want to make sure these aren't at the front. We do have the Skarm. We can do that. As I drop some Warp Lightning now they're in melee. Slow down those chaos knights with the poison. 
Alright, so uh, get rid of these chosen. I could start firing at these. Although it'd probably be better just fire at the Chaos Knights. Is that it? It is. That is some very dead Chaos Knights. Good. And they're chosen with great weapons. They are doing a runner. I think the Chaos were chosen uh, with great weapons look fantastic. Even more so when they're getting absolutely annihilated. Yeah, and the uh, hell cannons are still alive. That's awkward. <laughs> I think two units of their chaos knights managed to get away. All right, so we got him. Lovely. We'll end the battle there. Most of them are dead already. That was very, very good. Considering how much health those Chaos Giants have, we managed to take them down very quickly. Okay. And plenty of unit ranks there across the board, that's nice. You pay. Obey. Probably take some Obey. more food from yes. that. Every little helps. And with Ickbolt doing that, we could probably just head him up to the Shrine of Cain to take that back. Whilst we have Ickit Claw, maybe go for this Army of Chaos. That's what I'm thinking. Negron might try and deal with it, but can't really rely on that. Alright, might as well just leave him where he is. Okay, over to Olsess and Faderaith. Let's go for Lauren of the Forest. Uh, this should be okay. As soon as I bring in Faderaith, I reckon that's going to be one in our favour. Yep. Easy as that. Alright, we're probably going to Pick it up at level 1 anyway, so we may as well sack this first. And then just have a have an army go in. I'll keep Olsess clear. And we'll have Federe occupy it. Trim movement range and recruitment cost reduction. Cool. Envoy of Council. Get that spread public order. Anything better? Hmm. I can give him Skarm. Probably not worth it, honestly. Okay, Olsess needs to head towards um, Thousandman, but I think I'm just going to go sit in Middenheim. Going to give us public order there as well, so that'll be handy. Let's get Min Stag's walls upgraded. Over there. And Norden might as well upgrade. Now this turn I could, in theory, try and take on these three armies, but it's probably better if we just wait for Olsess to be ready. What I'm going to do with Brom Go on the water here and take the fell cargo. My, my command. 
Don't really need the cash, so we'll just wait. And then... I mean, maybe we could go to like Bay of Blades and start taking some land up top. Bay of Blades, Sun Encampment, Tower of Crack. Tower of Crack got that taken out by Norska, like raised by Norska, I think. We're going to need to be on land here, I think, so that we can take out these armies at Salzamund. Right over to transform. He's up down to four loyalty, but that should go up. Or should we keep winning these battles with uh, chaos? Right, this army is going to be pretty much fully good to go. Need 25%. Or ambush, right? Yeah. Let's go to the seventy-five percent there. Hopefully, we can catch him on the way down. All right over to Arkstorm. Right, Arkstorm needs to finish off Blackslan. Knows who his boss is. Level him up first, and we'll get the Warlock Engineer in there as well. Uh, we could do boost income. Just get augmented weapon maxed out. And the Ashen Sorcerer. Max out tenacity. Okay. I'm going to auto resolve this. And there we go. Probably worth sacking it. And then just taking it. At level 1. Cool. All the money. Uh, Plexlan. Oh, I thought they... Only had one settlement, but they got their Chaku as well, haven't they? Probably going to want to start demolishing these buildings. Yeah, let's demolish these buildings. Itza is owned by Clan Pestilence. Interesting. How can Clan Pestilence Get a trade agreement with them. Blimey. me. Be alright. Military access and a defensive alliance. I mean, defensive alliance is probably reasonably good for us right now. All right, let's just drop that on top then. I'll do. Agreed. We're actually trading with quite a lot of people. It's nice that all of these guys like us a lot. Oh, we can confederate. I think that's probably a good idea to do but sooner than later. We'll probably end up losing a bunch of stuff to the Warheads of Chaos and Chaos itself. It looks like Archeon's just like ravaging through there. But it'd probably be better if it was under our control so that we could Make sure to take out the Hell Cannon sooner than later. Now, Olses of Cripple Peak, he needs to keep building more and more troops. We already have the two play called Catapults, but I could really do with some more artillery here. I don't think there's really any options, though. Let's take out all of these. And I'm going to put in Storm Vermin with Halberds. Scratch is good to go. He can wipe out Ognag. And we could also take out this army of the Warheads of Chaos. Candidate for weapons testing. <laughs> No malice detected. Right, my warlock engineer. Let's 
to get a flensing ruin. Alright, and I think we'll do this. Fletcher has a pretty damn good army. Wow. <laughs> That's a crazy order resolve. Poor beastmen. Getting absolutely annihilated. We'll go back into Castle von Rauken for this turn. Get trophy heads. Knows who his boss is. I'm just going to throw in another unit of Skaven Slaves. Right over to Stretch. Now Stretch might as well take the moot. I'm really not a fan of this as a settlement because it's only like on its own. And then, you know, it's not really going to deal with public order all that well. This doesn't have walls, does it? Interesting. All right, we'll jump on in. Don't know why it's so close. I guess maybe the unit ranks. And of course, Hellstorm rocket batteries, they do hurt. Also, it might be high level lords or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to want to make sure that we're in range. From the get go. What, what? That's what I'm going to do. Some storm vermin. Have some storm vermin on the flanks. These three can just push up in the middle. I only got one warp block to Zale. I guess so. Make things dead. I might be a little bit silly letting my warp block to Zale sit up in front like that. Alright, let's go. I'm going to have the orb lightning cannons hit the war wagons. And then my other catapults are hitting the Elstom rocket battery. Actually, we can put the... Uh, the rattling guns in there. Okay, let's hit the swordsman. I'm gonna have these now target the cavalry. Get rid of those knights of the blazing sun. Alright, doing a strong amount of damage there. Hit the handgunners with the artillery now. I right, might as well be hitting that captain, that's good. Also trying to take out Fjordbach. Get engaged. Yes! Yeah. 
Okay. Not bad. Look at those bullets flying over the top. Oh, this should be over very soon. There we go. Beautiful. And we end it there. Decisive victory. I did get my rattling guns into position a bit late. I think if they were in position sooner, they probably would have got more kills, but didn't matter in the end. The way they tried to reposition at the start of that battle was perfect for us, just like allowing us to take out the artillery early on. Okay. We'll just occupy that level one. And we'll demolish that because I'm going to have to build it up ASAP. I'm probably going to have to keep efficient planning in there. It's going to rebel a lot. It's going to be well and annoying. I will level up our assassin. Spanish troops will do. Right, further down we have Rememute. I love the way it's called Rememute Yourself. <laughs> like mute yourself. <laughs> Some sort of BM. Probably a good idea for me to underway towards Memedans. We're going to do that. Okay, and after all that, we have Belquin. Our Belquin. I was going to bring him down so he could join an army, but we don't really have an army here to put him in. Maybe transforms army. Nagarothi sorceress. We could always just continue to boost our technology, but I think we're just going to start moving down. Right, Skittis. Not sure what I'm going to do with him. And he's going for Olsess, right? We'll put him in that army. Over to Momo. And then Vryn. Uh, Thryn's just coming all the way down to the deserts. Spread the plague. Okay, uh, let's do growth and recruitment cost or construction cost reduction so we can get this higher level sooner than later. Probably better than uh, relying on public order because at least then I can get rid of the conquest next turn and we can rely on uh, the bell building. I'm going to upgrade at White Tower of Hoeth. Uh, Pahoak should probably level up. We'll get the High Sentinel's walls going. Yeah, that's probably more important. I'm just going to throw in the cash here, because we have a lot of it. I'm going to build a clan pit here, because I keep building those, I might be able to get Storm Vermin to reduce their global recruitment time, which would be really nice. A Colador, I can probably do the same and start removing these uh, breeding pits. 
could remove breeding pits pretty much everywhere, honestly. Right, let's push up to the gates of law then. It's going to give us an extra 400 income a turn. Probably more, because we're going to have all these buildings maxing out as well. Oh, this is one way to use up a lot of cash, huh? Got all of those buildings. Let's grab the uh, the growth vats here as well. You know what? We could actually build an army at Lothern. Might not be a bad idea. Because then I could just have it sail down to... Yeah, although obviously it would be better probably to do it at Blight if we were going to do that. Okay, Minstag will max out that for now. And again, we'll throw in another clan pit here. Same here. Although getting the slabs is quite nice for all our trade, so I guess we'll do that. Reaver can get walls now. Another clan pit in there. Clan pit here. For how to spend money. <laughs> Uh, let's just get our name upgraded. Put in these buildings. Wreckers Point can upgrade. Go for the iron mining pit. Idris. Again. <laughs> Are we going to get to the point where we've built everything we can? I don't think so. Surely not. Some of these I think cost enough that it's not going to be the case. Ooh, maybe just. Yeah, we bought everything we can and we still have 10,000 left. Crikey. We had a lot of money. <laughs> Diplomacy. Do we want to get the Confederation going? Probably do. But even if we lose everything, not losing Hell Pit, which is probably level 5, is super important. The rest of it doesn't matter at all. Let's do it. Confederate. Ask for some money for it. Can I take all of your money? I can, okay. That's going to give us a bunch of stuff. Fort Ostrosk. Oh, why does that not have the wall upgrades? That is savage. Let's get rid of this. Wait, this doesn't have wall upgrades either? I guess it doesn't need it. Oh, this is extra well, re recruitment duration reduction for help at abominations. Is that both global? And um and local? That'd be cool. Anyway, minus 5% upkeep's good. Recruitment cost reduction, extra recruit rank for rat ogres and help at abominations. Plus two in all provinces and plus three in this province. Wow. Okay, uh well can we re recruit these guys? 
I don't know who we confederated. Master assassin. Morlock is the leader of those guys, isn't he? I think. Maybe. For the hmm. Well, we'll sort it out next time, because unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. I am going to want to move Toxidon next turn, so we'll probably do that. And yeah, we'll have a look at all of that land and I'll probably sort out some buildings. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.